March 29th. And I want to talk about money today. For some people in the world, there is never enough money. There are many who are not satisfied when they're doing well. There are those who are not satisfied when they're doing extremely well. And then there are those who will not be satisfied until they have every single penny they could possibly get their hands on. Greed, in my mind, is a terrible disease. Now, there are many who have made millions and billions of dollars who have turned out to be extremely wonderful people, donating tons of money all over the place. And those people are to be commended. And I would not consider a person who does that greedy. But when you have a person who just after the money, with no values on what to do with the money after they've achieved, how much is too much? These people I'm talking about are not sure what, how much too much is. And the one example that I will cite today is Sam Bankman Fried, once known as the cryptocurrency whiz kid. And he's going to be sentenced for his role in the collapse of the crypto exchange FTX. Federal prosecutors are calling for him to be sentenced to 50 years in jail for stealing billions of dollars from customers and defrauding his investors in this now bankrupt exchange. So he drove the FTX into bankruptcy while he was collecting billions of illegal dollars. And he was con convicted in November of stealing more than $8 billion and engaging his employees in a year's-long cover-up. So he's stealing money and he's convincing his employees to help him. That's a criminal enterprise. I don't know what they're going to do with those employees. They should be similarly put to jail. The federal sentencing guidelines, he could face 110 years in prison. And let's hope he does get that. Even though that's a waste of time, he'd be lucky to live that long. But it's a disgrace that we have many people out there who think the way that this guy did. You know, if you're working in the world of tech... You will usually come across situations where you have complete control, as he did when he created his enterprise called FTX. Now, I worked in tech in the very beginning, when there were no apps. Everything that had to be done had to be done specifically for your client. And in many cases, my company did what I will call razor edge beginning software. We, we created some systems that didn't exist in our world before. And the problem that we had with that is that there was no way to protect our systems. The copyright laws did not protect the software that we developed. Our only protection was for our clients to be loyal to us and not show our systems and our reports to our competitors because it was a very competitive business. And we were working with high-level retailers like Bloomingdale's and Saks and Tiffany's and designing systems for them so that they could correctly handle their products and their customers. We did very advanced work on recognizing who the best customers were in the stores. And I'll tell you an interesting story. We were doing that for Bloomingdale. 
And they wanted us to find the 10,000 best customers that existed in their multi-store operation. So we went through all the files and we collected the names of people who had spent more than $10,000 in the store in a one-year period. And we went to a meeting to present this to the management of Bloomingdale's. And one of the people in that management meeting was their own tech guy. The guy who managed the, the inner workings of Bloomingdale's technology system, which built customers and did some other things. We were the marketing arm for them. So when we made our presentation, he said we were wrong, that the customers that we had picked out were not the best customer. And I'm sitting there listening to this idiot explain his reasoning. And I said, these people, every one of them spent over $10,000 in your store. So why would you consider them not good customers? And he smiled at me and with his big smile on his face, he said, they didn't use their Bloomingdale's card. Most of these people didn't have a Bloomingdale's card. And I said, but most of these people spent $10,000. I'm willing to bet you can't find as many people as I found using their Bloomingdale's. Obviously, I didn't find them. So if you're going to only consider those who have Bloomingdale cards your best customers, you're going to piss away a fortune. And of course, I won the argument clearly because most of the other people in that room had no real interest in the controlling of the information that we had. And so you see, there are many different ways in the world to get ahead. And there are many different ways to find out and run a great business. And you don't have to create a situation where you are basically stealing from your customers and mill building mountains of money that you can't possibly ever spend in your entire lifetime. So I think that Bankman should go to jail for a long period of time because he has disgraced my industry. He has disgraced technology. Even though technology is not the same as it was when I was there, there were no apps. Everything had to be done from scratch. And we worked very, very hard, but there was no way to stop the advancement of tech. And the tech world is much different now. There were no cell phones. There were no other devices, no laptops, things like that. So tech has come a long way, baby. But I miss the days when you developed everything. And I miss the days when everybody didn't have a phone in their pocket. So have a great day. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thank you.